Hello, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to review the Daily Harvest. And if you're new to my channel, I do I do reviews. Speaking of Daily Harvest, this is not sponsored. So on this video, as well as all my Daily Harvest videos, I'm just like letting you know exactly what I think of the product. So on that note, let's start with this. So um, right off the bat, I'm not big on almond milk. I don't hate it. Or anything like that but and there's gonna be a special guest stars in this video so watch it all the way through on my favorite milks so with that note though like I don't hate almond milk it's just okay you know on plant-based milk I think I started like with almond milk and rice milk and then I kind of graduated from there there I love the box by the way even though on um, daily harvest looks kind of generic like the white and black generic look I kind of like it actually I like it a lot um, and I like the way it's indented and on the back it's number of veg wedges so I'll show you in a minute so on the wedges if you do two wedges it's a smoothie and one cup of water oat milk you only need one wedge half a cup chia bowl one wedge half a cup latte two wedges one cup so it's basically two wedges to one cup or one wedge to a half a cup on pretty much everything. And yes, I'm going to let you know how it tastes and everything, so stay tuned. So you get two packets that look like this. And they're not perforated or anything. So you have to, I personally use scissors and cut them. And I recommend when you get them to just cut them in, in ones or twos. And put them back in the box so that way it's quick. And as far as popping them out, they're easy to pop out when they're completely frozen. If you let them thaw off, um, it's kind of hard to get all the residual out. And then you're going to also have to cut this. I use this like a little knife. And I just pop it out. The texture of these are like amazing. They are like ground up so smooth. But... I'm going to stay tuned, stay tuned because I'm going to show you some, oh, you're just going to blow your mind. Okay. So it's really, really, really smooth. I have a Vitamix. I don't need things that smooth. However, if you don't have a Vitamix and you have a cheap blender or like a, what is it? A magic bullet, you know, things like that. And you like almond milk and you want to go pure with all the added ingredients. This would probably be right for you. Again, I have a Vitamix. I don't need it. And I'm not crazy about almond milk. Um, also, I want to say something else. You see, that's kind of like a brownish color. Now, I've actually had slivered almonds. And I've also had almonds without the peel and raw. There are really no real raw almonds that are hard to get. But without being extremely roasted. And I've made almond milk with that and it turns out really good. However, this has a light brown tinge to it. So that tells me that either they've been roasted a little bit longer than I would like and or the skin was still on it when they ground it up. That skin does have a taste, believe it or not. It's more of an earthy taste. And when I drunk this, I noticed that it didn't taste like slivered almonds without the skin or just almonds without the skin that's not toasted or whatever. It does have that toasted almond taste. It's not strong. It's not strong. But it is there. And that turned me off. Other than that, well, there you go. You can, you know, add up the pros and cons to decide. So, I said there was some special things coming up. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm put this away. So, again, I don't like almond milk. I don't hate it, but I'm not crazy about it. But... I went ahead and made it. I drunk it. And I told you it tasted a little bit earthy. Not too bad, but it did have that roasted almond taste, which I really don't like in my almond milk. But it was light, but it was there. So what I did was, is I added just a couple drops of this. Sweetener of your choice. And dark cherries. And I put it in the Vitamix. with ice really good however I still taste that roasted almond so 
You can also doctor up your almond milk. This is one of my favorite vanillas. And if you really want to cook it up a notch, but it's a little bit expensive, I just got a brand new one, a vanilla paste from this brand right here. It's really good. But speaking of alternative milks, I personally, as far as like really good milks, I like this brand and this exact one. Like it's Elmhurst, but it has to be the milk oats and it has to be Barista Edition. Again, Barista Edition. The regular milk oats, they're good, but this right here. Elmhurst Oats Barista Edition. Everything. Really good. I highly recommend. Now, going back to this smooth almond, I like cashew milk. To me, cashew milk is like so much better than almond milk. Like, it's my go-to. When I was raw vegan for a while, I was doing cashew. This brand, this quality, everything, I can't, this is like 10 out of 10. Um, it's ground up really, really smooth for those that don't have a Vitamix and it's cashew butter because this is basically almond butter in a way, um, but it's extremely smooth. This is just as smooth, um, and you can use it to, re you just put like a couple tablespoons in the amount of water that you need and blend it up. It's really good. And what I like also about this is cashews. Sometimes cashews kind of smell funky. I, very seldomly have I found a product where the cashews don't have that funky kind of smell and they taste really, they smell really fresh. When you open up a new jar of this, and I'm not going to open it because I have a, actually I have a jar and a half already open in that thing. But this is just, I, I can't break too enough about that. My other favorite uh, milks, especially if you're getting daily harvest, because if you look at a lot of the daily harvest items, like one of my favorite um, smoothies, is the chai smoothie and it has cauliflower in it but it also has coconut cream in my opinion when you do daily harvest and you want like a good milk alternative i personally use this when daily harvest calls for milk i i put this with a little bit of water and i put this in the daily harvest item also there is a soup from daily harvest and i'll leave the link below the video and i love this right here this is also one of my go-to's now this does taste like coconut it's not real strong coconut but it tastes like coconut like if i if i if i don't i have this on hand all the time so if i like when a milk alternative that didn't taste like coconut i do this if the item already has coconut in it and i want to enhance that richness then i do this or make a pina colada you can make a pina colada with this matter of fact put them together yeah if you put these two together and then when I want to splurge, because this is a little bit expensive, um, it's already, you know, in liquid form. These other two, you have to, you know, so that, um, I go to this. So that is my information and my review. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Don't not forget to subscribe because I'm giving you a lot of information. I know I might be the most boring person on YouTube, but I think I give really good information. If you just bear with me. So if you subscribe, I really appreciate it and hit the bell icon. And that will tell you when I come out with new videos. Um, what else? Also, uh, look at my daily harvest videos. Obviously, you're in it daily harvest somewhat to get into this. Because I'm not like those YouTubers that say, oh, leave, you know, um, you can get so much percent off your daily harvest. And it's all so wonderful and great. I mean, I tell you, like, there's a lot of daily harvest items that I cannot stand. They're disgusting. But then there's a lot of daily harvest items that are just like, whoa, that I just keep repeat buying. Go to my daily harvest. Um, I'll leave a, um, I'll put all my daily harvest like in a, a list and I'll, I'll just leave the link below the video, like a playlist. Other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and I'll talk to you another time. All right, bye-bye.